Are you confused about the difference between front-end and back-end in web development and how they really work? Or maybe you're thinking about learning one but aren't sure where to start as a .NET developer? In this video I will break everything down step by step so you have a clear understanding of how everything functions. We'll also focus on the key technologies you need to learn as a .NET developer. So let's get started. Front-end development is the part of web development that focuses on everything users see and interact with on a website. It includes displaying content, capturing user input and communicating with the backend to update the page. When you type a URL like www.example.com, your browser requests the web page files from a server. The server sends back the necessary files and your browser assembles them to display the page. In simple terms, the server is a special computer where the web application is stored and your browser brings it to your screen. To build the front end of a web app, you'll use three main technologies. HTML for structure, CSS for styling and JavaScript for interactivity. These form the core of front end development, no matter what stack you use. For example, when you press a login button, HTML creates the form, CSS styles it and JavaScript checks the input and sends the data to the server. For .NET developers, Blazor is a key front-end framework. It allows you to write front-end code using c -sharp instead of JavaScript. Here's an example of a login form in Blazor. In Blazor, c -sharp handles the logic behind user interactions. The HTML sets up the structure and c -sharp handles the form submission directly, without needing JavaScript. The front-end framework you use depends on your project or company. As a .NET developer, you may also work with JavaScript frameworks like React, Angular or Vue instead of Blazor. When you visit a website, there's a lot happening behind the scenes to make everything work. I mean, who knows, right? That's the job of back-end web development. Backend web development refers to the part of a website or application that operates behind the scenes, ensuring everything functions correctly. It involves processing user requests, such as when you submit a form or click a button, and determining the appropriate actions based on the input provided. This logic is handled in the backend of every application. Depending on the request received, the backend may also need to interact with a database to manage the application data. Think of it like a factory with different departments. Okay, you probably have never worked in a factory before. Comment below if you have though, but bear with me just for this example. Each department in a factory handles a specific task, such as assembling a product or packaging it. Similarly, the backend has different parts that handle specific requests. Let's take an example to explain how this all works. In simple terms, when you visit any URL or click on any link, you are making a request to the server of that website. For example, if you were to go to a URL like this one, the process begins with a protocol. There are two main internet protocols, HTTP and HTTPS, with the key difference being that HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP, ensuring that the communication between the client and server is encrypted. After the protocol, the domain name specifies which server should process the request. In this case, the request would go to the server of codefuture.com. Finally, the path such as slash products indicates which section of the application should handle the request and determine what data or logic is needed. The server receives the request and matches it to a predefined route in the application. Once the request is routed correctly, the backend logic executes. This may also involve querying a database to fetch details about the available product. The retrieved data is then formatted into a structure the front-end can understand, such as a JSON object or an HTML view. Finally, the server sends this response back to the client where the front-end displays the product information on your screen. But what technologies do you need to learn to become a back-end web developer in .NET? You'll start with c -sharp, the primary programming language for writing your application's code. Then you'll need a framework to build web applications and in .NET this is ASP.NET Core, which enables you to create web applications and APIs or application programming interfaces. ASP.NET Core provides different options for building your application's UI, such as MVC, Razor Pages and Blazor. If you're new, I'd recommend to start with MVC because it's widely used and offers a clear structure for organizing your application. Once you've learned MVC, learning the others will become much easier. 
As a backend developer, you'll also need to manage your application's data. The first step is to learn SQL, a programming language used for querying and managing relational databases. Additionally, in .NET applications, you'll use Entity Framework Core, which is basically a tool that simplifies database interactions by allowing you to work with data using c -sharp objects instead of writing SQL queries for every operation. If you want to know the exact steps to start .NET web development from scratch or figure out the right next step in your journey, I have a roadmap specifically for that. You can download it through the link below or watch a dedicated video by clicking on the screen right now. I appreciate your time and I will see you next time.